guys, John here. This is another episode of Vault of the Dungeon Master. Uh, it has been a while. Uh, I'm real sorry about leaving you hanging dry there on the, that there's been a lapse of content on my channel for about about a year. Um, sorry about that. I just with school and work and all, everything in between found it hard to get videos out there. Um, I'm home for the holidays once more. Had an excellent Christmas. Uh, did a lot of uh, board gaming over the break. Even started doing a small pickup game of Pathfinder uh, here back home. And uh, that's another thing I actually got into a little bit of Pathfinder. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good system. Good solid system. Good for character generation. I definitely still prefer the old school style of stuff. Um, but it's a good system. I've gotten off my, I guess, my high horse a bit of that particular system, if I ever was on a high horse. Um, I, in terms of campaigns, I recently acquired over the summer the second edition AD&D, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeon Master's Guide and Player's Handbook, and I actually taught it to some of my I work in a daycare and I taught to some of my kids I have there and they loved it. They, they thought it was great. They actually spent a lot of time goofing off and trying to tame animals. But that was just kind of the uh, it's a nice little uh, take back to kind of roots of kind of gaming because we, we often think when we th when at least me as Dungeon Master when I conceive a campaign I think of it so broad and so you know the themes, the story. It was just interesting to have Pardon me. Uh, that interesting idea of um, just going back to those early days of just playing with your friends, you know, and that, that's what it did for me. It helped me better understand just role playing and just kind of working with kids. I am now currently with the kids. I introduced them to the board game Smash Up, so we've been doing that for a while. Um, no, not Smash Up, King of Tokyo. So we've been playing that for all, for the past couple of weeks. But I definitely think we'll probably get back to D&D eventually. I was running them again. I was running them through the Against the Slave Lord series. The, uh... It's right here. The, uh, hardcover book that we have here. In the vault. And, uh, I was running them through A's, the new A-Zero. Which is a pretty good adventure. Good old school themes. Um... Another recent acquisition. Pardon me. Uh... I originally picked up Lamentations of the Flame Princess. Very good system, very good uh, old school basic D&D uh, &D kind of rules. like it a lot. Haven't, haven't ran it yet or made characters, but I imagine it's going to be in my future. I also, uh, out of this book this past semester, I ran for my friends at school. I ran them through S4, Lost Caverns of Tesokith. And they had a ball. It was, uh... I had a couple people who had played first edition before. But, um, a lot of the primarity group had not played first edition. They've only played, like, fifth edition or Pathfinder. And... It was an, inter it was an interesting thing. I, I think definitely people... People really enjoyed it. Uh, and I had a big group, so it was... Not the best in terms of individuality, individual role playing, but in terms of kind of old school D and D, it was very fun, and everybody had a lot of fun trying to figure out how to how to do stuff without you know having a list of skills, you know. Well, you know, so it was fun, kind of teaching people kind of to step back and kind of role play out the situation instead of just kind of oh I roll diplomacy or oh I roll perception, which is great and definitely why I really like. Old school games a lot. Uh, I ran that game actually through Osric, the old uh, old school uh, reference system, uh, which is cleaned up AD and D. Very good, very good uh, system. Pull it, look it up. It's a free PDF for the core rulebook. Actually, the the core book actually just went through a second edition. Actually, but yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of good gaming. Uh, anything else? Did pick up uh, my buddy of mine gave me a Pathfinder Core rulebook. Uh, 
picked up a couple Pathfinder modules. I'll do another video on that. Uh, the sh uh, as you notice behind me, got a new picture behind me. Uh, that's a uh, I like that. Saw that in a Sears and I picked it up. I, I like it because it's got the adventurer talking to in a tavern. I just very D and D. Um, kind of show shift gears too. My board game shelf has grown. And yeah, yeah, my board game shelf's grown. I uh, got a lot of new games, a lot of interesting games. Uh, maybe I'll do some reviews of that on this channel because I definitely think I definitely think I'm gonna kind of shift stuff just from not just role playing but also maybe board gaming. Uh, just to do talk about some stuff about that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this update. I will very much, hard, very much try this year, 2017, as the, I think now, fourth year I've had this channel, um, to try to give you guys more content, because I've been asked, you know, I got a comment, I think a day ago, about a video plans, a buddy of mine from high school liked my channel, just a lot of people like this channel, and um, I should just make more videos. Uh, anyway, anyway, that's been another episode of Volta Dungeon Master. I'm John, and as always, happy gaming.